Albright Divinity School may be located in what's known as a Southern Conservative state, but it hasn't stopped the school from discussing the issues of religion and how it fits with lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. Uh, there's certainly a lot of conversation in the public square about sexuality and gender diversity, and a lot of conversation coming from churches, but the loudest and most uh, forceful conversation is one that is harmful toward LGBT persons. The forum presented different perspectives on gender and sexual identity and why it's important for all people to be embraced by the church. People from LGBT communities urge others to take a stand. We're blowing it, those of us who stand on this side of the theological divide, by not being as well informed and as articulate and as strong in our belief as the persons who are attacking children like my child. We are the ones that are ostracized from the powerful building communities of family, of faith, these powerful institutions that build society and bring people together to feel whole, to give themselves a sense of meaning. And so this is a place that by all means, ha it has to be present. This conversation has to go on. Local minister Rob Morris said he came to learn more about how to form an inclusive environment at his church. He says Bright is the first place he has seen that has held a forum like this. It's a, a powerful statement uh, about who, who Bright is in the community, about the, um, the kind of theology uh, and theological ed education. A recent survey named Bright as one of about 20 seminary schools that address issues of sexuality and gender in healthy ways. Sophomore Thomas Hale says he was happy to see Bright taking initiative and holding the forum. He says he can see the open attitude transcend to the TCU community. I've never once been harassed here at TCU, and I, have, I haven't known anybody who's ever been harassed. So TCU is much better than my high school was. By providing opportunities to bring people together, both TCU and Bright are taking steps to create non-judgmental environments. But these panelists at the forum say it's a continuing effort to influence society to embrace all LGBT communities.